Oh, good. An island. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. You know, there's a lot to Magic the Gathering that doesn't have to do with skillful gameplay, such as you're witnessing here. These are maybe tips and tricks of the trade, as it were. Magic the Gathering life hacks. Things that will make your life as a Magic the Gathering player more easy, but that don't necessarily relate to gameplay or mechanics. Let's take a look at some of these right now. Five Magic the Gathering life hacks to make your Magic the Gathering life easier. Number one, never forget to do something during your upkeep again by putting a counter on top of your library. Sometimes we forget about upkeep effects until after we've drawn, but upkeep effects need to be dealt with before we draw. A great way to make sure that you always remember your upkeep effects is to put a counter on top of your library. That way, when you go to draw, you will have to move the counter, and this will help remind you that there is something that you need to pay attention to before you actually draw your card. Number two, don't pay big bucks for counters. Just buy yourself a bag of decorative bath beads instead. You should never sit down to play a game of magic without access to at least a handful of counters like this. They have a myriad of uses, the least of which is counters on artifacts, power toughness counters on creatures, or as loyalty counters on planeswalkers. Although planeswalkers tend to get pretty high in loyalty, so you might just want to use a small d6 instead. So you should always keep on your person not only a handful of counters, but several D6s as well. Don't spend too much for counters, just use bath beads. Bath beads are cheap, pretty, and usually available at your local 99 cent or equivalent store. For about a dollar or two, you usually get a bag filled with these counters, and that's more than you'll ever need. Number three, how to avoid getting into an argument with your opponent over whether or not they missed their chance to declare spells or effects before combat. Never attack without first saying to your opponent, move to declare attackers, or move to attacks. This allows them to play any spells or effects that they would need to before you reveal to them which cards you're going to attack with. If they have no spells or effects, then you proceed to attack. But never just leap from your main phase to your attack phase without first saying, move to attacks. Number four, always carry emergency sleeves. Sleeves split, okay? Even if you use Dragon Shield and KMC, from time to time there is going to be a sleeve that splits on you. And if this happens in the middle of a tournament, you need to be able to replace that sleeve. You don't wanna have to buy a whole new package of sleeves just to replace one, and depending on the store you're playing at, maybe you can't, maybe they don't carry that sleeve. So what you wanna make sure to do is always carry a few extra sleeves of the type that you use on the decks that you're playing with in the appropriate colors, the appropriate brand. That way if one splits you need only reach into your backpack and pull out a replacement. Number five, understand what draft chaff is and what it can do for you. Another great thing to be aware of is draft chaff. What is draft chaff? Well, not everybody needs to keep every single card that they open, and a lot of players only draft. And so after a draft, on the ends of tables, you'll often see piles of unwanted commons and uncommons, and these are basically being generously offered up to any players who might want them. Now this is typically going to be kids or casuals, but it can also be someone on a budget or someone who realizes that they're missing a particular uncommon for the upcoming standard event and are desperately looking for it. So be aware of draft chaff and that it's available to you. Please be sure not to take anyone's deck or belongings on accident. Be extra extra sure you're not taking anyone's deck or belongings on accident. Now, this is a lot like the penny jar at the cash register. Need a penny? Take a penny. Have a penny? Leave a penny, only with common and uncommon magic cards. So, don't be greedy and abuse this system. Only take draft chaff if you need it and want it and are going to use it. Otherwise, leave it for someone who will. Got any MTG life hacks of your own? Post them in the comments below so we all can know. 
Want to help support this channel and allow me to keep making videos like this one and the one yesterday and the one tomorrow? Then if you like, you can head over to my Patreon to give me a dollar or whatever to keep me making videos like this and those.